Hey everybody, welcome back to the next, uh, stream of Next. I make it sound like it's not gonna happen yet. Of SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. We got Mandy with us this time, which is great, because Hello? Mandy grew up with this game as well. I did. So, isn't it you didn't watch wrestling, but you played this game anyway? Like, I watched wrestling back in the early 90s when I was a little kid, and then I kind of fell off the bandwagon for a while. My cousin was still really into it, though, and he had this game, so I would spend summers over at his house, and we would just spend the entire summer playing this fucking game. This game is so good. Either great, than, yeah. Either than the character select glitch, which is the most obnoxious thing in the world. So, I used to go over to, because I didn't have a PS2, but my friend uh, Justin did. So I'd go over to his house all the time, and he had all the SmackDown vs. Raw games, and he'd get them every year, so we'd always play them like crazy. And we found so right. many incredible glitches. I believe it was in this one where, you know how there, this was where they introduced environmental grapples, so you could, like, drag people to the turnbuckle and send their head into it, or drag them to yeah. the ring post and, like, smash them into it and stuff like that. Right. Um, there... <laughs> so... There's a thing where if you had a chair and they were on the ground, you could wrap the chair around either their ankle or their head and then stomp on it. So right. if one guy was dragging their head while well, they're face down, and then the other guy, he'll still have the option to put the chair on his ankle. So what happens is if both of those things happen at the same time, it'll do the animation of putting the chair on his ankle and then warp back to being carried and dragged by the other guy. And then the game doesn't know that he's supposed to be on the ground selling that his, his leg is in a vice. So he stands back up and is controlled normally, but he has a chair attached to his feet. But because the chair, <laughs> but because the chair is an object that you're not allowed to walk over top of, it tries to push the character away from it because they're not supposed to overlap. But it's attached to his foot, so it's constantly pushing him. So he's constantly getting pushed like to the top right of the screen. So then, if you grab him in a <laughs> grapple and you try to drag him around, you're turning him around, so you're steering him like a car and driving around the arena <laughs> by Jesus a rocket-propelled chair attached to his foot. I've never oh seen that before. That's really funny. We found some wacky fucking glitches back in the day. All right. <laughs> to recap everybody who wasn't here for last time, we picked Cowboy Lance Cade, early days Lance Cade, back when he had his own theme before, well, kind of, uh, Cade and Murdoch were formed as a tag team. They're a tag team in this game, but when they were first, like, motion scanned in, they weren't a tag team yet. So it's a weird in-between period. We're one of the worst stats guy in this, guys in the game. And we are undefeated and have already beaten Triple H for the world title in a Hell in a Cell match in the main event of WrestleMania, like seven matches into our career. Because welcome to we? season mode of a SmackDown vs. Raw game. <laughs> I know. We threw Triple H off that cell like ten times. Jesus oh, Christ. Oh god, Hell in a Cell matches are fucking great. So They are. Everybody get pumped for some wacky shit. I don't even know what's happening next. I don't think we started the next storyline yet, but we're the champ. What wacky shit's gonna happen now? Who yeah. knows? Storyline called Conflict of Interest. Let's see what the fuck happens. Let's do it. Hi, Booker T. Oh, God. Booker T and his, his, how his nipples look like angry eyes because the I way his know. pecs are flexed, it's got like a, he's got like a brow line. I always felt like his nipples looked fucking weird. Oh my god, it's it's just because he's like flexing his pecs in a weird way, so it looks like a giant brow. Uh huh. Uh oh, hold on. Edge has a voicemail for us. Oh. Hey champ, I just wanted to call and tell you that tonight I'm gonna give you just a small taste of exactly what I've got in store for you at Backlash. Now that I'm the number one contender, I guarantee that the WWE title is coming home with me. And there's not a damn thing you or anyone else can do about it. All right. Apparently, Ed Edge is the number one contender at Backlash. Cool. Um, I get a kick out of how when you're in the phone calls, they did a great job on the effect of making it sound like they're over a phone in terms of, like, you know, there's no bass or anything. Uh, and it's a little yeah. staticky. But there's zero yeah. background noise. Like, they're in a recording booth with their phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's really weird. They didn't even put in the slightest little hum. No. Uh, yeah, King Booker was the year after this one. All right, let's see what the website wrote about us. WWE chairman Vince McMahon has announced that starting next week, he'll be taking a, a well-deserved vacation from WWE operations. As part of his announcement, McMahon revealed that his appointed interim general manager for Raw, who will take over the day-to-day -day operations during the brand, uh, during the course of his break, quote, 
Well, it's true that Raw is, has not technically had a true general manager as of late. I'm installing one at this time so that I and the Raw fans can blah, 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 blah. Who is it? Um, this is Sherd. But the general manager has been coach. He's been talking to us over text messages for the entire previous storyline, telling us he's the fucking general manager. <laughs> Who wrote this? Um, Buzz Beelzebub says he can hear Edge's mouth smacking noises and it's disgusting. <laughs> yep. That's how you know that Edge is a villain. <laughs> uh, I like when the game shakes slightly on the loading screens because the emulators... Because here's the thing with a lot of PS2 games you might not know, is almost every single fucking screen, they render at a different resolution. So a PS2 emulator has to constantly try and change his blending modes on the fly to be like, oh right. God, the resolution changed. Fucking everything's different. Make it work. <laughs> so like if I were to manually change the blending options, I can make the matches really crisp and clean looking. But the second it goes into a cutscene, it'll start shaking wildly <laughs> because it's like, oh God, the pixel density is different. Try and make it even. And it starts vibrating. <laughs> I'll show you what I mean in this next one. I can make the game look so crisp and clean you wouldn't believe it. Like, I don't know if you can tell, I'm playing this game at eight times the native resolution of a PlayStation nice. 2 and downscaling, which is why it looks so much more crisp than it normally would. But it's on a yeah. blending option by default. By default, it doesn't understand what blending options are the best, and I can't tell it which ones without doing it manually every single time. Mm -hmm. Or else I would tell it to go to the two super crisp ones. Because the super yeah. crisp ones look great. Yeah, they do. Which is why if you watch me play Resident Evil Outbreak and Outbreak File 2, it looks so much cleaner than on a PS2 because it picks the correct blending options with those games. So it's like super clean looking. It looks like a GameCube game, which GameCube was really great about that, about making sure things actually look like crisp. They didn't like doing that whole like blurry shit to make it look better. Is, right. the, is the game randomly playing at a higher speed than it's supposed to? <laughs> Hold uh, on. Brandon says hi. Oh, hey, hey, Blin Blan, aren't you at work? Yeah, you're yes. at work. <laughs> Someone asked Blin Blan if he got, uh, if he got Crusader Kings 2 working on his, um, on his laptop. All right, I'm just going to check a thing real quick. It'll pause the game real quick, but let me just double check that uh, I do have it set to limit the frame rate at the proper frame rate. Yeah, it's it's frame limiting at the proper frame rate. Okay, I must have just been a little glitch that happened there. I just wanted to make sure that... Uh, I just wanted to make sure that it was actually working properly there. Oh god, <laughs> I forgot about it. Lance K. Gennaro theme! <laughs> <laughs> when, when they're like, oh, this new up-and-coming star Lance Kate is coming up. Uh, well, he's from Texas. Let's just give him the most fucking generic cowboy song you've heard in your goddamn life. I know, right? Let's give him the twang. <laughs> let's give him a twangy guitar three. <laughs> God. <laughs> you can see why they went with Lance Kate, or why they went with Trevor Murdoch's theme for the tag team. <laughs> Because someone spent more than six <laughs> seconds thinking of that song. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> it sounds like it sounds like it's a dishwasher commercial from like local broadcast television in Texas. <laughs> like they fucking cheaped at Jim Johnson phoned it in that day. Jesus. Did you know that almost every single theme in all of WWE up until like 2012 was done by one guy? Whoa, really? And it, and it's like drastically different genres and of and mostly of very high quality, right? Yeah, One no. guy, his name is Jim Johnson. He's a fucking genius. That's insane. I and, didn't realize it was just one person. Yeah, and every theme now in WWE, nearly every single one is one band that they own of like three dudes called CFO. Holy shit. I know, they do all these different genres and do them so well. There's the occasional one that's done by someone else, like uh, Bray Wyatt's theme is done by like an indie band that they licensed and stuff. Like there's the occasional one like that. Um, but most of it is just done by their in-house bands of either Jim Johnson or CFO. It's crazy. Everything from fucking Hulk Hogan's theme all the way to like, I don't know, someone who debuted in 2010. All by mm -hmm. the same guy. Fucking crazy. Oh. Hey, what a geek is an explosion gift that just hasn't loaded yet? 
Directed yep, by Michael kinda... Bay. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> wow, they put some fucking effort in that one. Things. The Those smoke. Three separate explosions. They got the smoke trail on it and everything. And the shadow of the smoke? Holy <laughs> shit. All right. Yeah, CFO is two guys. Yeah. So a funny thing about this game is they introduced ultimate control grapples and they were so proud of it they made it so that AI almost never reverses it and if you get the move in, you can't re reverse it during the move. In fact, there we go. First move of the match, I've already locked one in. However, regular strong grapples, which are not as strong, get reversed like 75% of the time. Nice. What about Fandango's song? I believe Fandango's song was Jim Johnson. Yeah, me uh, Real Man's Man Regal was Jim Johnson. That was uh, 1996. Or was it 1997, actually? I don't remember. Oh, God. See, the stressful thing about roll-ups in this game, they always get two and a half count no matter what, just to, for the sake of suspense. Fucking... How does a club in the, uh, to the back get countered like that? There's an occasional really dodgy counter in this game where the animations don't quite sync up like they should. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> I like how one of the strong grapples is punched to the head. Why would you need to grapple me for that? <laughs> Alright, fuck you, Edge, and your really high stats and your really shitty hair. I know, right? You see, that's why Lance Cade's hair isn't a physics object in this game. Because the physics hair is really dodgy on PS2. Oh my god, I know. It just clips through their own body so much. I know, I know. Fuck, you got me with a face buster there. Alright, so I said I'd show you the, the really clean blending options, because right now it's a it's by default goes to a blending option that I believe halves the frame rate by blending the frames together to try and make it look nicer, but we actually don't need that one. Fucking DDT. I'm do is, I mean... I'm, Gonna click the screen. I'm gonna hit F5 a few times. I feel like I would rather the hair be a physics object because when it isn't, and you have a character with really long hair, it's just like stiff and it sticks out when they bend their head and stuff, and it looks weird. It does look kind of weird. Also, how did he not sell that drop? But you can see now, game looks so clean now and crisp. Oh yeah. Because it's the great. correct blending option, and I'm rendering at a way higher resolution than normal and downscaling it. So it's just, it's the cleanest form of anti-aliasing you can have. Get rid of the jaggy bits just by rendering it at a higher resolution and then downscaling it. So am I a face or a heal right now? I think I'm a heal. There we go. I forgot holding a submission uh, with a rope break thing drains your stamina way faster for some reason. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like when the audio glitches it slightly sometimes and an entire crowd of robots go, oh! I know. Oh, God, it's incredible. <laughs> and they all go slightly robo. I know. Holy shit, I almost got the pin there off a random fisherman suplex. Jesus. All right, I'm the fucking world champ. I need to... You know, g gotta give the people their their money's worth. I I'm gonna go for a superplex. Fucking keep kicking me in the dick. And you can't tell me that's not the <laughs> dick. It's clearly supposed to be a toe kick, but he's absolutely hitting me in the dick. It really is. All right, superplex off the top. Uh, <laughs> wow, he still doesn't have any head damage. Wow. There we go. He's got red body damage. That's pretty good. Side headlock! No! Aw, oh, shit! Counter dick kick! Alright, let's fucking kill him. I'm just gonna throw him out of my ring. <laughs> kill him. There. Fall away slam to the concrete. I hope he dies. Alright, so Lance Cade's finisher is he's got the diving elbow drop and he's got the lariat, because of course he does, he's Texan. Uh, Retra, if you complain to the ref, it temporarily de distracts him. It's usually pretty good tactic for tag teams. Tag teams. Yeah, it's good for tag teams. It's terrible in the singles action because yeah. as a heel, uh, it gives you some momentum, but it distracts yourself for so long that yeah. um, that they're just going to cheap shot you. Uh, but in tag team matches, it works pretty well. Oh, fuck. Edgematic. Oh, God. Fucking... Gets a two and a half count on me, and not even that hurt. 
Dog. Oh. Alright, I'm just gonna fucking lay into him. It's okay, Ref, don't pay attention to how these are clearly closed fist shots, which was illegal in WWE at the time. And by illegal I meant the ref says, no, don't do that. Every single match, because it was done every match. Um, so Sassarus says, my speaker skipped, so all I could hear was MDB saying dick. Dick. <laughs> uh, that's the stream working as usual. That's what I was saying. Haven't you been here enough? I just keep getting small package roll-ups here. Okay, sorry, Edge's face right now in this small package roll-up. His face, he's so confused, like he doesn't understand what's happening anymore. How did I get a pin? All right. <laughs> Sorry, Edge. You're a fucking loser. Bye. Oh god, and then and then there's an earthquake as the blending option no longer works properly. <laughs> this is why I don't <laughs> manually set the blending options. <laughs> oh, oh no! L look out, JR! There's an earthquake in the Hoover Dome! <laughs> Everybody evacuate! <laughs> no, Lance, don't go on the ropes! You're gonna collapse! Alright, let me fix this. <laughs> And if I switch the blending option by one, then it may, may be fixed. Uh, nope. <laughs> oh, nope, works on this screen though. Looks great on this screen. So let me just, there we go. See, everything's crisp and clean again. But if I go into gameplay now, there's another fucking earthquake. So let's just switch <laughs> it back to auto. It looks a little bit more hazy, but at least it only vibrates on loading screens. Yeah, it's not so bad. Uh, yeah, why isn't my finisher the exploding power bomb? Yeah, why right, isn't it? Up. Triple H, H, get off my goddamn screen. I just won the title from you. You're the new channel manager of Raw. I just killed you! One week ago, I threw you off a cell on concrete like seven times. You are dead! I like fucking power bombed him through the top of the cell, then gave him a diving elbow drop. This man is dead. I like his painted on mustache. It's just a texture. It's so good. Although Edge has been named the number one contender for the WWE title, his match last week against the champion left me feeling a little. Yeah, Triple H, I think I think it just match against me left everyone feeling a little eh. I got him with a small package roll-up. I know, right? It's the fucking number one contender and I punk him out with a roll-up. Uh-huh. Well, if Edge is out, who's that's Edge's fault to being a little bitch. Yeah, he should have been less of a bitch. Search to find the most worthy contender. And that search starts tonight when the champion faces five top raw contenders in a new over the top rope Wait, rope. so we're we're figuring out the number one contender by having a five person over the top rope uh, battle royale and I'm in the match. What happens if I win? Am I the number one contender for my own title? <laughs> I hope. Okay, who else is in it? Gregory Helms. Uh, we got Trevor Murdoch, who's my tag partner, but I guess not in season mode. Chavo Guerrero, Davari, and Lita. Okay, so they brought out the fucking job squad for this match. Interesting. <laughs> Alright, it's over the top rope elimination. This might be my first loss, actually, because it'd be pretty easy to to lose, uh, to kind of abruptly lose this match. Oh, yeah, this was, uh, Mr. Kennedy's first game. Back when he was just Ken Kennedy. Yeah. This was Great Heights, Mr. Kennedy. Although he did have yeah. the best entrance with the microphone that raises, that comes down from the ceiling. Jesus the God Christ. mic. Yes. Love it. All right, we can skip the six entrances here. I don't think we need to watch all six. And this was pre-bandana Gregory Helms, back when he had the really bad theme in Titantron. <laughs> this is right when he gave up on being, uh, when he gave up on being the Hurricane. Uh, yeah, even, even the subtitles here are saying, like, oh, unique entry. Seems like Triple H is picking, uh, picking weak dudes. <laughs> I think it's because Triple H is just going to insert himself into the storyline because welcome to what real life was back in the day. <laughs> it was 10 years of Triple H inserting himself into every storyline. Gee, really I wonder was. why people were mad that he married the boss's daughter and accused God. him of using that for political reasons. I, I wonder know. if there was any truth to it. I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe. 
I'm not gonna accuse him of marrying someone just to uh, get political power, because I don't think that's true. I am going to say that I think it played a heavy role in why he was promoted for so long. He was yeah. great. Legitimately, very solid wrestler, great promo. He is a guy who should have been a world champion. I don't know if he should have been in the main event, or at least a high pro match of every single WrestleMania for the last 17 years. Yeah, it made him kind of a pain in the ass. Actually, I think it's 20 years now. I think he's had a match at every WrestleMania for 20 years now. No, I think Jesus. he I think he missed a couple due to injury. Mm. But even like he's he's semi-retired now. He still has a match. He's had a match at every WrestleMania for like the last five years of his retirement. Jesus. Although his matches are consistently really, really good, so I can't really complain too much. Yeah. Oh no! The game, uh, the game has give it up. It has decided that uh, this match will be conducted in slow motion. Oh no. Oh my god, Davari! What the fuck? <laughs> what just happened? I don't even know! Okay, I'm gonna get away from Davari, because apparently he is actually the reincarnation of the Big Show, who's not dead yet, so that's one hell of a reincarnation. <laughs> I'm just gonna kill Lita in the corner. Let's just beat a woman over here. Why is Lita even here? Usually they don't have divas fight with men. Uh, because this was back in the this was back in the day when they didn't have that contract with Mattel that says no beating women. Well, <laughs> I knocked Lita. Actually, this is gonna be really easy. These are all cruiserweights, aren't they? Except for Trevor Murdoch. And because I'm two weight classes higher, I can insta eliminate anyone who's on uh on the apron. Like Lita's a featherweight. That's not exactly. Fair. She's even lower <laughs> than cruiser. She's the lowest weight class in the game. I know, that's not even fair. Yeah, don't fuck with Davari. Davari's a fucking badass. I think he's got the lowest stats of any man in the game. I do find it funny that in his voiceover promos in this game, he can, despite the subtitles like all being in English and the text messages being in English, the voicemail is all in Farsi. I think it's a fun touch. Mm -hmm. Fuck it, he had his finisher on me, which is just a punch to the dick. <laughs> oh god, he might actually eliminate me. Oh no, no, I'm back in. Thanks for oh, the no. save, Murdoch. Okay. Nice backbreaker, dude. I'm gonna eliminate you now, because you're the only other heavyweight here, so I'm actually kind of concerned. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you, my own tag team partner. <laughs> oh, fuck. Alright, I should eliminate... Yeah, I should, I should eliminate uh, Murdoch first. Because, uh... Oh god, he got DDT on me. I need to eliminate Murdoch... Because, uh, then Devari might be able to gang up on Murdoch with me, and we can get him out easier, and then I got no problem eliminating Devari. Unless he fucking choke slams me over the top rope, because, you know, apparently Devari's so good at that. I know, right? Devari, yeah, focus on him. I love how when they get eliminated, they just disappear. Like, they, <laughs> yeah. don't, they don't walk off the set or anything. They just My patch. planet needs me! <laughs> Yeah, Davari. Davari, you can choke slam me, but you can't power bomb me. All right, Murdoch, get out. No, no, fucking. I hate the fucking auto targeting in this game. Sometimes it really can fuck you over. All right, get out of my ring. Davari, back me up. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Davari. You're not gonna regret that one. Get out of my ring now. Oh, fucking dick kicker. <laughs> First you punch me in the dick, then you kick me in the dick. Get out of my goddamn ring, Davari. Get off his dick. Fucking... Alright, I think I got this one. There we go! I'm the number one contender to my own title! <laughs> Congratulations! So am I gonna, like, is this gonna be like Al Snow that time he wrestled a match with himself? <laughs> It's gonna be a hardcore match with myself. I just start jumping through tables and pin myself. <laughs> I lay down and put my own hand on my chest. There's not even subtitles for this. Like, so there's there was no commentary or anything. Like, they don't know how to react to this. <laughs> All right. Uh, what text message am I gonna? Is, is there gonna be an article written on the website? It's like, well, that was a bit of a boner. Don't know how we uh, set up a match in which the number one contender was was also the champion. But I guess this is the world we live in now. Yep, this is life. Fucking... So I figured out what I was doing 
last stream that made it so my chat randomly disappeared. Which just uh -huh. happened again. Let me bring it back up. There, I got the chat again. Um, because of my input mapper, the PlayStation 4 controller, the touchpad on it controls my mouse. I accidentally tapped it with my finger and it made it think I was clicking on my browser. Mm -hmm. So that brought the browser ahead of my chat so I couldn't see the chat. But I can see them again. Right. Okay. I got a voiceover from Triple H and I just got to listen to this. What what explanation do you have, Triple H, for this? <laughs> <coughs> and Kurt Angle and I do. I want to evaluate those guys as potential contenders and give Edge one more chance to prove that he deserves <coughs> a title opportunity. Yeah, it's a three on two match. You're the WWE champion. Ah, uh, great. So suck it up. Uh, Alright, voicemail just finished. Sorry about the we coughing and how my eye is now watering. Uh, uh, so, you know how in the pre stream I said I'm bad at drinking water? Even though it's all I do all day long, I drink, like, fucking two liters of water. You're First, supposed to drink the water, not breathe it. Yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> ah! oh. oh, that was awful. I, uh... <laughs> on the pre stream I went to drink some water and just spilled some all over myself because I'm a fucking idiot. Now, <laughs> I went to drink some straight down the windpipe. That's <laughs> a lot of it. <laughs> ah! First death <laughs> live on Smashcast TV. <laughs> All right, there's a website article. Please tell me. It's like, well, you're the number one contender to yourself now. So I got I got a tag team handicap match with Edge, which is fine because Edge has really good stats, and um, and Carlito and and who was it? Carlito and Chavo. Um, Chavo sucks, and Carlito is okay. But it's it makes no sense considering Chavo and Carlito were stable mates of mine in my first storyline in this game. You know, like, in game time an hour ago, they were my tag partners. Water geek. God damn it. <laughs> Alright. Fuck the website article. Let's just have the match. Unfucking subscribed. How dare you? Your eye of water. I only eye of water around here. <laughs> you know what? I'm stepping in on your game, water geek. Ste oh, I'm stepping shit. on your gimmick. I'm going Shots a gimmick fired. infringement. All right, I'm against oh. I'm against Kane, Carlito, and Kurt Angle. Okay, that's actually pretty difficult. Kane and, and Kurt Angle are really good, especially Angle. He's got maxed out technical skill, which means he's a bitch to fight because technical skill is how good you are reversing. The most frustrating thing. I know. Also, Angle's got maxed out submission skill, and he's got the ankle lock, which is one of the strongest finishers. So his ankle yeah. lock is goddamn murder. <laughs> I believe this was actually the last ever WWE game with Kurt Angle in it as a playable character, because right after this, uh, before the next game released, he would have left for TNA. Mm hmm And he was actually in TNA for longer than he was in WWE, which is weird to think. He's, uh, he's general manager of Raw right now, though. Like, in real life. So it's cool to see him back. He's also Hall of Fame. Awesome. All right, so I got Edge on my side, which is a pretty good partner. <clears throat> You're playing Cave Starter right now? Yeah, Cave Starter looks awesome, and I have watched full playthroughs of it before. Never played it myself, though, and I bet I'd like it. <laughs> Quick, what a geek. Copyright all of his videos for taking your thing. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, he could probably cop copyright strike all my videos if I didn't take his thing, because welcome to YouTube. <laughs> Guilty until proven innocent. I know, right? It's an unfortunate necessity, though. I can't even fully blame them. It's not their fault that American media companies are fucking lunatic. Uh-huh. Alright, I think this might be my first loss unless I play like an absolute asshole. What I could do is tag out so that Edge is in, and then I throw the legal man on their side out of the ring, and I just hold him outside the ring. And like a vertical <laughs> suplex or some shit for 10 seconds and I win that way. I bet you can do that. You can. It's a really cheap and easy way to win these old games. I'm going to try and win yeah. this legit though. Totes legit, bro. Okay, so luckily Edge and I are both heavyweights, so we don't need to worry about how Kane is a super heavyweight. We can lift him. Oh god, the slowdown again. 
This one's not elimination style, I don't think. I think what I might do is just change the, uh, the, the upscaling real quick. It'll look slightly worse, but it'll run better. You know what's annoying? PlayStation 2 emulator barely fucking works ever on anything ever. Um, yeah. But um, the, the GameCube and Wii emulation, fucking flawless all the time. Of course. Nope, that didn't fix it. Let me just try one more quick thing. Sorry, I'm really, I'm sure everybody finds this absolutely fascinating to watch. Um, <laughs> internal resolution. Let's drop it to four times native. Which looks basically identical. Mm, running slightly better. There we go. Uh, let's let's drop it one more time. Yeah. And you know what? Let's just make it double. Yeah. Why not? There we go. I can hardly even see the difference. On the stream, you probably can't see the difference. Phew. It might just be the game running like ass. <laughs> At this point, hey, it actually looks way smoother frame rate, though. Okay, apparently that fixed the blending bad. options a bit. Okay. It did. Huh. Well, hey, if it, fixed the, if it fixed the blending option, then okay. Yeah. Ooh, God, what the fuck? Yeah, it's really slowed down now. King of quality content. A uh, bad content, that is, yeah. A qual <laughs> of quality bad content. This is some <laughs> genuine, high-quality, terrible content here. It's All perfect right. for the best worst stream ever. Yeah. All right, this is gonna give me more editing and post. I'm gonna actually not make it upscaled at all and just rule that out as the problem. So now we're native resolution, which looks like ass. Oh my oh, god. Wow. Whoa, that's a no. I'm switching that oh, one back god. on. That is mandatory. Holy yeah, shit. That's not good. Whoa. Jesus. They just. Oh, hey, there we go. That, uh, that cleaned it up a bit. There we go. Nice. <laughs> All right. This is one of the weirdest career modes ever. No, the 2008 career mode was way weirder. It was damn near non-functional. Every storyline is like, you're number one contender now, and then I get in the next storyline and they're like, hey buddy, if you win this match, you're the number one contender. <laughs> it was awful. All right, fucking Lariat. All right, I doubt yeah. I'm gonna get the pin because I think they're gonna break it up, but I'll try. Get him. Get him. Wow! Kurt Angle stomped so hard he accidentally killed Carlito. What the fuck <laughs> happened there? Wiped out hard! <laughs> and, uh, the ref's just gonna allow Edge to come in the ring and hit a sweet crossface. <laughs> so this was also the last wrestling game to have Chris Benoit in it. It was. Yeah. Like, it was released right before he died. Yeah, it was also the last wrestling game to have the ability to choke people with um, with, with electrical cables. Yeah, they removed yeah. that one too. It was a little bit too Chris Benoit-y, you know? Uh, a bit, yeah, you know. I mean, like, after people started being dicks and making <laughs> That <Chris> video? <laughs> they, <laughs> where they made a creator wrestler of Daniel Benoit and choked him with a wire to death metal? Yeah. I remember that in early YouTube. That video went viral and everyone was so upset. Oh my god, I know. But they weren't upset about all the Jesus versus Hitler matches that were on there where he was doing the tr triple German suplex. That was really big. Because Jesus and Hitler fighting never happened. Well, that was back in the day too when um uh that was <laughs> that was back in the day when like uh fucking English. <clears throat> uh that was back in the day when gameplay on YouTube was really really rare so you'd find anything you could. And so that's yeah. what you'd find. Uh, let me just try. Let me try this setting. Oh, that looks awful. That runs slightly smoother, but it looks like a fucking PSP game up upscaled. You know what? Yeah. We're just gonna live with it being a little slow motion for a while. All right. Sucks. But uh, sucks butt. <laughs> <laughs> sucks butt. There we go. I, up I upped it to uh, four times instead of two times again. 
Seems like when it's on eight times is when it fucks with the blending options. That's really weird. It looks crisper than it did on eight. Yeah, <laughs> All right. Definitely. Oh, fucking Edge just randomly hit the uh, execution. All right. Oh, uh, now's probably a good time to pin Kane. Carlito, leave. Carlito, Carlito! Fucking, I wish he at least hit the ref. Focus. God damn it. All right. <laughs> Come on, Kane. Tapped my chin lock. I know it's your weakness. <laughs> no, not the chin lock. <laughs> Ask him, ref. Ask him. I'm going to break his goddamn chin. Uh, whoa, whoa! I accidentally hit the buttons for a pos for a possum uh, pin, but fucking ref's out of position. Ref, I've had him down for like a 40 count. Holy shit! Holy shit! Jesus Christ, no! Holy shit, I got it. Thanks to fucking, I think Carly was going for like a jumping knee drop, and the sheer force of Edge's punch punched Carlita out of the air and out of the fucking danger zone. Amazing. That was a weird fucking ending. <laughs> okay. <laughs> huh. Well, that occurred. It did. That happened. He got punched so hard that his entire vertical momentum coming down with all like 250 pounds of him got reversed and he flew backwards horizontally through the air. <laughs> It's like you tossed a tennis ball in the air and you punched on the way down and it flew forwards, but this was a heavyweight <laughs> human being. <laughs> what the fuck? That's some falcon punch shit. Right? Do you know the game Silent Storm? I haven't played it, but I know that it is built in the same engine by the same people who made Hammer and Sickle, which was a really awesome game. That unfortunately has never been re-released, and it's a Russian game, so it has, uh, like, star something... Star Dock or something, uh, copy protection, which was a really horrible Eastern European copy protection, which makes it flat out not work on modern computers unless you use a hex editor to fix it and make it so that the game will run if you have more than four gigabytes of RAM. Does it sound fucking stupid? Because it is. I have some <laughs> of the only disc copies in all of North America of the game Hammer and Sickle. Awesome game. Oh, wow. I have some of the only disc copies in the world, and you can I can only play it if I use a, uh, if I use, like, a fucking cracked EXE website to replace the EXE to get rid of the DRM. That's this is why people really hate awesome. DRM. Because the DRM makes yeah. it so it doesn't even, like, it'll crash your computer installing it on Windows 7 and force it to go back to the nearest uh, Windows um, restore point. That's Ooh. how harsh the DRM is. Jesus um, Christ. And I'm on Windows 10 now and it still doesn't work properly. So, like, you can make it work just fine. You just need to use, like, a, you need to fix up the EXE and use a cracked EXE. So it doesn't even matter that I have the discs. I gotta use a cracked EXE anyway. Which is lame. I gave them my money at least. I'm just happy that I paid for it. I mean, in Canada, I'm allowed to use a cracked EXE because I gave them my money. So it's my product. I can do what I want with it. That's part of the laws of Canada. Um, it just, it, it sucks that like people are discouraged from buying the discs now because there's just no point. Yeah, seriously. And the money probably doesn't even go into the original devs anymore. I think those devs are out of business. Uh, cutscene? Who's he fighting? Carlito? Oh, there's like some weird screen tearing for a second there. <laughs> I like how they cheap out on the sound effects in these cutscenes. There's a sound know, for the right? spear, but there's not a sound for them hitting the ground or for the ref's hand hitting the mat. <laughs> I know. The legend has it they haven't hit the ground to this day. They're still falling from that spear. <laughs> Hey, Malaria, are you finally back from your vacation? Really impressed all these people out here tonight. But when you're in a position like Hi, I'm Sarcastic Triple H. Uh, she says she's still away. Although I appreciate uh, you busting your ass that means you're not here, which means I don't need to acknowledge you exist. LOL! And that means I can't just flip-flop on a decision I made a few short weeks ago. So I'm afraid you're still not number one contender material. And you're not gonna get a title shot at back. Oh, Edge oh, oh, in an exciting match. I, I highly oh, doubt gosh. it. I don't like, know. I've liked a lot of Edge matches. I'll say his track record hasn't been very good in his career mode. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> fucking gets rolled up, gets into a tag team match with me where he doesn't get tagged in once. <laughs> like, beats Carlito <laughs> one time. Good job, Edge. I I was really hoping for a second that that was just a gif of the the true ending to Cave's story. A duck <laughs> exploding. <laughs> hey, Dig. Alright, uh, where was I? Edge suspended! Oh, because he attacked Triple H, okay. So is uh -huh. Edge supposed to be one of the good guys in this storyline? I guess. I uh -huh. Because he's getting fucked over out of his contendership, but Edge is like always a villain, and he threatened me in a voicemail. Yeah, exactly. All right. Apparently, I'm in a one-on-one -on -one match against Ric Flair. This was that weird era when Ric Flair was just ran wrestling random matches on Raw at the age of like 500. Uh huh. <laughs> that uncomfortable era where you're where every time Ric Flair comes down the ramp, you're like, "Is this the night he dies?" Because <laughs> he's like a 55-year-old man who's willing to take, like, bumps to the outside of the ring and shit. It's true. And you're like, I might see a death tonight. And then he had his retirement match. And then went to TNA and kept wrestling matches. <laughs> I think his last match, he was, like, 62. Malaria says, I'm still in the Middle East. I feel spicy. What Mid Middle Eastern country are you in right now? All right. Guess uh, Ric Flair's fighting the true world champion. He's yeah, He might be a 16-time world champion, but I'm Lance fucking Cade. I beat Triple H by killing him, but he got better, unfortunately. Unfortunately, every year at WrestleMania, it's, um, it's tradition to reassemble the Dragon Balls, and one of the wishes was for him to come back to life, so... Oh my god. It's part of the yearly tradition of WrestleMania, is getting the Dragon Balls. <laughs> Why is there a, a sun white line on the right side of the, uh, of the screen? Is that- uh, can you see that on the stream? It's like one pixel along the right side, and it's only halfway up, so I don't know how well you're actually gonna see it. You probably won't see it because the border for the game is silver anyway, but it's- it's real distracting for me. Gonna go play Battlegrounds? Yeah, have fun, I think, James! I think I do see it. Yeah, it, you probably only notice it because I pointed it out, so I probably shouldn't have pointed it out, but hey, you know, it's there now, so suffer. Fuck. Alright, Flair has also got a pretty high reversal rate, I believe. Wow, he chopped me so hard, I teleported backwards. <laughs> that was a hell of a chop. It was. Oh, God, the animation of the Fisherman Suplex is so dodgy. And then, like, we both have these, like, generic animations of, like, wiggling back and forth in the pin that don't sync up properly. All right, let's get a nice pendulum backbreaker. There we go. That's one of my signatures. Uh, I believe my signatures are the dropkick, the pendulum backbreaker, and vertical suplex. Let's get the vertical suplex in. There we go. So when's Triple H going to come out and be like, Aha! What you didn't realize is this a this is a winner loses the match match. You lose, uh. Lance Cade. That's bullshit. I can't believe a heel is never like a heel GM has never tried to do that before. Where it's literally like you know they they usually restart the match and they're like it's an ODQ match now and then they have like people run in and stuff. Why not just have a um a the guy I pick wins the match match. Mm -hmm. It'd be fun. All right, uh, let's ruin Ric Flair forever. I'm sorry, ladies. Uh, he is no longer good. Let's just do this for a little bit. The ref's gonna be like, no, don't do that. It's not technically a low blow, because you're <laughs> using you're using an illegal part of the ring rather than your legal hands, which makes it not illegal. If you do an illegal thing while doing another illegal thing, it's no longer illegal. You pass around infinity, you see. Yeah, two right two wrongs don't make a right, but three rights make a left. Yeah. Exactly. Actually, we don't know how far we're going left on this one, so let's just make a shitload of wrongs and hope for the best. <laughs> Fucking hell. I love that ground and pound. You just tag him so hard with that last punch. And it plays the punch sound effect way too early, which is the best part. Uh, hey, ref, or hey, hey Flair, don't, don't, uh, elbow drop the ref. Seems like it wouldn't be a good way for you to win the match. Yeah, Space Mountain's closed for business. 
I think I fucking killed him. Oh no, he's get up! Uh, yeah. Fuck. Yes, this is story mode. Yeah, this is the uh, story mode of this game, which is called season mode. It's been pretty wacky so far, but we are world champion Lance Cade. Yes. Generic Texan. I love him, though. He was a great wrestler. And somehow, Lance Cade is the guy nowadays who's dead and not Flair. <laughs> I think he OD'd on some kind of thing that, like, stopped his heart. It was pretty unfortunate. Jesus, he had, that's terrible. And he was a great wrestler. He looked like he had a big career. He was, like, six foot five, great athlete. He was only 29. Yikes. Yeah, he had just been released from the WWE. He worked, like, three indie dates with, uh with Trevor Murdoch. They got the old team back together on the indies, and then one morning, uh, I, I saw the, um, was it, uh, Trevor Murdoch did, like, um, he, he got interviewed in, like, an article, and he's like, I just woke up one day, and, and my family came to me, and they're like, like, something big's happening. He's like, don't tell me, like, something happened to Harley Race, because, you know, Harley Race is old, and he's, like, his mentor, and he's like, no, it's Lance. What do you mean it's Lance? Lance is dead. What the fuck do you mean Lance is dead? Is really depressing. Jesus. All right, yeah, that uh, is depressing. So talking about uh, stopping hearts, let's do a heart stopping elbow drop. Na -na 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 -na. Yeah. Kill an old man. <laughs> oh fuck! He raised his yeah. legs into my gut. <laughs> Fucking. All right. All right. Apparently, we didn't crush his balls hard enough the first time. <laughs> All right, I'm killing him. Mandy probably already knows what I'm going for, because she played this game. Yes. Alright. Set him up for it. Let's kill him, man. <laughs> I can't wait. Nope, nope, flare. Flare. God, rolling over, son of a bitch. Holy shit, Lucha Flare! <laughs> it's like that time that- it's like that fucking time that, uh, Big Show. In our first match of the entire campaign, we were against Big Show. I went to go, uh, like, belly to back suplex him, and he flipped through it. Fucking Luchador Big Show, landing on his feet out of a back suplex. That's some cruiserweight shit. Holy shit. Alright, let's just snap his new knee. Alright, get him up, lay him out with the lariat. Alright, that'll keep him down so I can get some stamina. Oh, man. All right, it's time. Fuck it, he kicked me in the dick when I went to go grab his leg to drag him over. <laughs> Fuck you. Get on the ground. All right, I'm doing it. <laughs> Kill an old man. <laughs> Boom. All right. And now he's infertile, and let's just break his knee a little bit. So this is a thing that a lot of people don't know about, is if you, if while well, you're in the animation finishing up the nut busting thing, you hit the grapple uh, stick again, you can then start slamming his exposed knee sideways into the metal post. Nice. And it's a really great way to damage his leg. Yes. See you, Malaria. Have fun in Israel. All right, does anybody remember a good way to make people bleed in this game? Oh yeah, I've got the, uh, yeah, this is what I can do. I got snake eyes. Let's make an old man bleed. Yeah. There we go. First Kill try. Him. Kill him. Burn an old man, singe all his flesh off. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't know the context of that quote, uh, MST3K. Nice. All right, stop his heart. All right, that's got to be it. Got him. Well, he was harder than Big Show. The fuck? Well, to be fair, Big Show almost beat me. Whereas, uh, Ric Flair just kicked out a lot. Here's your winner. Yeah, that's a good point. I, I make it sound like Ric Flair is hard to make bleed. Ric Flair, I've seen bleed 10 seconds into a match. His skin is paper mache. <laughs> I mean, he's like an old man. They usually have paper thin skin. Well, it's that, and also his forehead. He had bladed his forehead so many times that his forehead is just scar tissue. I've spent the last few weeks conducting an exhaustive search for the number one contender for the WWE title at Backlash. 
All right, Triple H, who's, who's the number one contender? Is it going to be you? Examine the entire Raw roster. Probably. From top to bottom, backwards and forwards, over and over. Oh, get to the point already, would you? The and the number one contender is Paul London. Soul searching and reflection. <laughs> okay. I found just three letters. Oh no! Is it, are the three letters that is going to be his H H H? Oh no! It looks like the number one contender is Tarpal H. Big, Big fucking serious. surprise there. You know, Triple H, you don't need a storyline for this. You were the champ. You're owed a rematch clause. Why don't you just invoke the rematch? Just three letters. D D P comes out of retirement. Oh, <laughs> uh, there's a good one by Balls Mahoney. Uh, three letters. M D B. I come out. <laughs> yes. Fucking fourteen-year-old me comes out flexing. <laughs> I would have yes. been 14 when this game came out, I guess. Actually, no, I would have been 13 because this game actually came out in 2006. Yeah. I was 16? No, 15. Yeah. Math. All Math. right. It's Backlash. Uh, I'm against Singles Match against Triple H. doesn't say it's for the title on this screen, but I'm 99% sure it is for the title. Had to create a new account. Uh, why do you have to make a new account? The old uh, hitbox ones still work on Smashcast. Yeah, shut do. <laughs> Three leaders, letters, WWE, and then the entire <laughs> WWE roster comes out. <laughs> yes! I would love that. And if I if I lose, then they need to start like dividing up the belt <laughs> so a chunk of it goes to each person. Just like snapping it into little pieces. Yeah, they're like making it into super thin strips. <laughs> <laughs> Three letters, K, K, K. They have the Undertaker druids come out, but they're all in white. The WrestleMania main event is um, me versus the fucking, like, Grand Wizard of the KKK. TNA, yes. The, the rival company comes in. <laughs> See, this is CZW. John Sandig comes in fucking morbidly obese with meat hooks in his shoulder blades. CZW. WWs are like, yeah, we really want to associate our branding with CZ fucking W. We really want this goddamn outdoors backyard wrestling where they hit each other with trash bins in an alley. We really want branding tie in with CZW. All right. I'm just gonna put down the controller and read the chat a little bit here and make Triple H look like a fucking punk. <laughs> you know what? No, I'm gonna squat while I do it. There, Triple H. Do you look any more like a bitch now? Do you look like a bitch? You really wanted this match against the Destroyer of Worlds, Lance Cade. There, crotch you on the fucking rope. Yeah, the the KKK match is me versus Blackface Roddy Piper. Actually, what it should be is me against Dick Murdoch, who legit was a member of the KKK. It's a shame because uh, Lance or uh, fucking not Lance or uh, fucking Dick Murdoch. Uh, Dick Murdoch was a great wrestler. Shame he was literally a card carrying member of the KKK. Oh my god. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> More like triple, triple, bitch. triple bitch. One of my favorite fuck ups ever was uh, Mayhem in Manchester was a uh, was a budget pay per view, as the name would imply, Mayhem in <laughs> Manchester, uh, for WWE in the <laughs> Attitude Era, where they were gonna fly over to the UK and do a whole tour there, but due to uh, some issues, it had to get like semi cancelled, where. Um, Basically, their product there was a layover, and their production crew couldn't get there in time. But they still had the matches, so they had to they had to hire a local production team who was horrible. So the lighting was horrendous, and it looked like the most rinky-dink shit you've ever seen. 
and like the on-screen production values were horrendous. And my favorite fuck up from the entire night is, you know, Triple H's name is either spelled triple space and H or just three H's for short. Uh huh. They spelled his name triple H H H. Oh my god. So that's god. why I refer to him as, as uh, H squared and H to the power <laughs> of nine. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god, it was horrendous. I mean, honestly, you should pronounce it like it's a giant sigh. Like it's so <laughs> many H's and. <sighs> like Triple. <that's> <laughs> Hunter Hurst. Helmsley. <laughs> Oh god, I fucking love it though. It's so dumb as he got H9. Oh fuck, he's going for like a fucking pile driver. Oh no, he's just jumping on my neck. Just cracked my top vertebrae. Hope that doesn't uh, bite me. Fuck. I was trying to go for a possum, uh, possum pin there, so I used up my sword finisher, but didn't work. Three litters, SVR. Yes, the video game comes out and pins me. <laughs> SJW, you like you'll have a bunch of rainbow haired like <laughs> <laughs> like left. Fucking sometimes. YouTube was new. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we had the term yet. Tumblr sure as fuck didn't exist. Colleges existed, so we sure as fuck had the problem. <laughs> I like how the ropes don't actually move with my hands; they're phasing through my hands. I'm actually using my <laughs> superior mental strength to uh, to kinetically control the ropes. All right, let's take the turnbuckle pad off so it's exposed steel hook and smash his head into it. Don't DQ me, ref. I will remind you, title does not change hands on a DQ. So I don't really give a shit if I get DQ'd. Yeah, fuck it. I'm still undefeated, though. <laughs> yeah, sorry, that's for... I'm revoking your smart person card. <laughs> All right, let's choke a man to death. Front of his throat on the <laughs> rope. That is an air choke. He will die. Yep, he's fucked. Yep. And apparently that really took up my stamina, so let me just blow the ref a little. <laughs> well, no, completely missed on that <laughs> one. There we go, he just stood there and took a back elbow to the eye. <laughs> Triple H, you are really shitting the bed. Mm -hmm. No, he's a little bitch. MVP, actually I think this might have been MVP's first game. Uh, no, I think he might have been 2008 when he was introduced. I can't remember. Did you play any other wrestling games either in this one? Uh, no. No, I didn't. Well, you know what comes out uh, on early access on Steam for, I think, 20 bucks American on um, July 10th, so real soon? Oh. Fire Pro Wrestling World. It'll be the newest Fire Pro Wrestling game, which Fire Pro Wrestling Returns, which was the previous one from 2004. <laughs> it's right. been a while. Uh, is my favorite wrestling game of all time. And its sequel is officially coming out. June 10th, or July 10th, rather. They're going to be updating it a lot, apparently. Uh, it's made by hardcore fans of the series, which is awesome. And it's going to be the first one ever with online multiplayer and on PC. So that's nice. going to be fucking awesome. I'm super pumped for it. I'm going to make all of you guys in it. You should, and it's going to have Steam Workshop support, so you can just, like, download entire roster packs of wrestlers and stuff. Nice. So I can just make all you guys and make it so you can download your dudes. It's going to be I awesome. You're going to take open challenges. Um... I, I might get it. I really have to conserve for the next month or two. Yeah, I don't blame me. You're moving. Yeah, like all of my admin fees and, and all of the uh, like initial fees I have to pay for this fucking apartment. Like right <laughs> now, I have to spend more on my dog's rent than my rent. <laughs> Three letters. J. F. K. <laughs> By God, King, J. F. K. is back from the dead. <laughs> Drives out in the car he was shot in. Oh, Jesus. His finisher's name is the Magic Bullet. <laughs> oh, come Hailing on. from the Grassy Knoll, JFK. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> wow, Triple H, you're a fucking bitch. Did I even get hit? No. <laughs> like, that, like, I don't think he got a single big move on me. Holy you, shit. What a bitch. With him. I'm gonna turn up the difficulty. Yeah, oh, was the no, difficulty like the Oh, hey, Chris Benoit. <laughs> 